we've seen how to solve a plug flow reactor and a pack bed reactor with multiple reactions. Now we're going to see how to solve a continuous tier tank reactor with multiple reactions. It should be very easy for you guys. So the good thing is we have no differentials, no integrals or no ordinary differential equations. So that's awesome because then we can solve it easily by, let's say, or by hand. We're going to use algebraic solutions. We're going to set the net rate of reactions, of course, and we're going to substitute in the molar balances. Then you will get a linear system with, I don't know, n equations, and you can solve, once again, with algebra. It's very easy. So let's hit it. Let's say we have this volume. We have this flow rate divided by this uh, rate of reaction at the outlet. You know it. By far you should know it that it is in the exit. And, well, let me change this here and you will get flow rates and rate of reaction times volume. Now, this is for flow rates. If you want to model concentrations, you should use this one. And you know by far that the rate of reaction is always a function of concentrations. And I'm going to use, suppose we are using a CSTR in liquid phase. So I'm not going to correct that concentration. I'm going to leave it as concentration. Now let's do it, let's say for a three species you will have flow of A's, flow of B's, and flow of C equals rate of reaction of A, rate of reaction of B, and rate of reaction of C. And the important thing here is that you will have, of course, the initial here. You will have this data. You will have the rate of reactions here. And you will need to solve for, you have three equations, you should have three variables. Actually, you will going to set this in terms of A, or concentration of A, and you will have volume. So actually, you can solve it. And yeah, essentially, it's everything, guys. I think you will think it's a very fancy problem, but no, it's very easy. Just solve this system. You know this. These are unknown. You set the, uh, the volumes and the rate of reactions, and you're set to go. Of course, you will need to set values here, volumes here. Or you will need to set a flow rate because you have this relationship. You, you have, as you see, you have three equations and you have three variables, FA, FB, FC, and volume. But volume needs to be set. You're going to say, okay, how much flow rate I'm going to get with 10 cubic meters? So you set volume and you calculate F of A, F of B, and F of C. Or you can give a certain F of uh, A, you say, I don't know, one gram mole, and since they are stoichiometrically already set, you, you will need to calculate F of B and F of C, and then once you get this, you can calculate the volume. So that's what I want you to show you guys. It's not that complicated, it's very easy. Just do some algebra, solve linear equations. Now, I told you before it was for liquid, for a gas phase, you're going to correct this. So essentially, we have the same set of equations because this comes from the mole rate or the mole balance. You know that the rate of equation depends on concentration and the concentration is also a function of flow rates here. So that's good because we are not adding extra information. We have still flow rates. It's going to be a little bit more complex. Yes, it's going to be a little bit more complex. But it's still the same theory that you need to solve three linear equations giving a volume or giving a flow rate. And that's actually all you need to know from the CSTR. Now, if you want to see how I solve it, you should check this example. Uh, this one is easier than the other ones. Check the webpage, go to courses, reactor engineering, chapter six, and you will go to the problem solve section or exercises and I will show you. And that's everything guys, we're done with chapter number six, multiple reactions. What's up guys, it's me, chemical engineering guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? 
it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.